Good morning! How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. I am super excited to start the lesson because someone will help me today. Do you want to know who is he? I'm gonna tell you, don't worry. But before, let's go and write or read the day and date. Who will help me today to read the day and date? Me. Okay, so let's read the day and date together. The day is Wednesday. And the date? April 22, 2020. Great. Great, everyone. And please... Don't forget to grab some papers and pencils because we are going to write. So, as I said to you so far, someone will help me today to explain the lesson. So, do you want to know who is he? Yes. He is Uncle Ed. So, everyone, say good morning to Uncle Ed. Good morning, Uncle Ed. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Miss Mona called me to come and help her today to explain the lesson. And I will be very happy to help Miss Mona today. I will help Miss Mona to explain what does a simple past tense mean. And this is the title of your lesson. So please listen carefully to Miss Mona. Thank you, Uncle Ed, for helping me. And today, together, everyone, we will try to understand what does a simple past tense mean. So are you excited to start the lesson? Yes! So let's get started. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify simple past tense verbs and also write sentences using simple past tense verbs. So everyone, I and Uncle Ed found a nice video about simple past tense. So let's watch the video together. Pay attention. Listen carefully, everyone. Pattern chance. Past tense verbs one. By L. Learning. What did you do today? I dried my hair. What did you do today? What did you do today? I brushed my hair. What did you do today? What did you do today? I washed my hands. What did you do today? What did you do today? I cleaned my room. What did you do today? Great. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. What did you do today? I dried my hair. What did you do today? What did you do today? I brushed my hair. What did you do today? What did you do today? I washed my hands. What did you do today? What did you do today? I cleaned my room. What did you do today? Great job. This has been Elf Learning, and we thank you very much. So everyone, after watching the video, we get to know that when you talk about something that happened in the past, for example, yesterday or before yesterday or two days uh, ago or one week ago, you need to use the simple past tense. 
Last week, we have learned how to use the simple present tense. And today, we will learn how to use the simple past tense. So, let's get started. As you can see, there are two pictures. One of them happened in the past. So, let's read this together. Children played with old-fashioned toys in the past. So, look at the verb. We added ed to the verb. So, usually the verb comes after the noun. As you can see, here is the noun and here is the verb. So, everyone, what does a verb mean? We have learned this before. So, who can help me? Use your background knowledge and try to remember. What does a verb mean? A verb tells about an action. A verb tells about an action. So look at the picture over here. The kids are playing, right? So playing is the action word. Or, let me say, the verb. So, here as you can see, there are two sentences. Two sentences. So, let's read two of them. And you will find the difference between the two sentences or, let me say, the two actions. So, let's read the first sentence together. We, we play, play with modern games. games. And the second one, children played with old-fashioned toys in the past. Okay, everyone, I'm going to give you some time. I want you to look at the two sentences and to tell me what is the difference between two of them. So, what is the difference? In the first sentence, the action... Is present tense. Well done. And in the second sentence, the action is past tense. Is past tense. And how do you know this? Because there is ed. So in the past, we add ed, ed. to the verb. But in the present tense, we don't add. As you can see the verb over here. And the verb also here. Well done, well done everyone. I can see that you are helping Miss Mona. But it's my turn to talk. I am an expert and I can explain more and more about simple past tense. So listen to me. I am Uncle Ed. Past tense verbs tell about actions that already happened. Regular past tense verbs end in ed. I am an old man and I like to talk about things that happened with me in the past. That's why all my verbs have ed. <coughs> Everyone, sorry, I am an old man and I like to remember things that happened in the past. And when you talk about something that happened in the past, just add my name at the end of the verb, and this will help you and help Miss Mona also. So let me talk about the things that happened with me in the past everyone i walked in the park as you can see the verb here my name is at the end of the verb i poured the milk into my cereal look at the verb and you can see my name at the end of the verb I played football and also you can see my name at the end of the verb. So everyone, if 
you want to talk about something that happened in the past with you, just add my name at the end of the verb, and this will help you. So everyone, I want to say thank you to Uncle Ed, and Uncle Ed, his name is Uncle Ed, as you can see, Uncle Ed, and Uncle Ed told us to put his name at the end of the verb when we are talking about something that happened in the past. So one more time, everyone, you can put Uncle Ed name at the end of the verb when you want to talk about something that happened in the past. So everyone, let's say thank you to Uncle Ed. He gave us a great help today. So say thank you everyone to him. Thank you Uncle Ed. So task time everyone and as you can see, there's two things you can complete. So it's up to you to choose to complete task one or task two. And if you are planning to do two of them, it will be great. So here's task number one. And here we go. Uncle Ed is here to help you. So, if you need any help, you can ask Uncle Ed. So, let's read the question together. Add ED to the end of these verbs to show that Uncle Ed did them in the past. So, as I said to you so far, Uncle Ed likes to talk about the things that happened with him in the past. So as you can hear, as you can see, so here there are six verbs and we are going to add ed to these verbs to show that these things happened in the past. So Uncle Ed will help you to do the first two and after that I want you to do it by yourself. So let's read the first two because Uncle Ed promised you to help you to do the first two. So let's read them. Jump. So what we're going to do? Add ED. To show that this, this action happened in the past. So let's read it now. Jump. Let's go to the next one. Play. So what we are going to do? Add ed to the verb. To show that this, this action. happened. Excellent. This happened in the past. Well done. So it's your turn. Let's ask Uncle Ed. What do you think about this Uncle Ed? <coughs> it's great and I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work, everyone. Let's move to task number two. What you are going to do is to add ed to the following verbs. So, read the verbs and add ed to them. Add the name of Uncle Ed. Finally, catch the butterflies needed to spell the missing verb in this sentence. My brother blank TV last night. So everyone, you are going to catch the butterflies needed to spell the missing verbs in this sentence. Finally, please don't forget to upload your work in your class dojo portfolio. Thank you everyone and thank you Uncle Ed for helping. You're welcome!